Hi, this is Pastor Bob. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. The sun is just coming up, so it's a little dark. I'm going to do it anyway. I think you can see me well enough, and we'll just kind of watch the, the sun continue to rise for the next few minutes. You know, I, uh, I had a tough time sleeping last night. And one of the reasons, really, was um, fear of failure. Now, I'm almost 61. A couple months I'll be 61. And I always thought that when I got this old, I'd be the kind of spiritual giant that didn't worry about anything. You know? The kind of guy that would just kind of take everything in stride. The wind is blowing my hair around. Uh, it would just kind of take everything in stride, and I wouldn't worry anymore. I would just really trust in God with everything. But, you know, every time I'm ready to start something new, every time I'm ready to do something possibly a little controversial, I get this fear of failure. I still do. I think it's common to probably all of us. We're afraid to fail. We're afraid to look bad. I am. And why is that? You know, I can look back at my life and I can say, you know, God has brought me through so many things. And, and I remember specific things. I remember at the beginnings of, of Christian rock and roll thinking, am I doing the right thing by promoting all of this? I remember, you know, specific things. I remember being awake for several nights when we released the, the Vengeance album 25 years ago. You know, and I thought, I'm really committed here. You know, my voice is doing some of the background vocals. Uh, my hand is on the cover of the album. I'm endorsing the inside of it. You know, I was very involved and helped put the band together. And I remember sleepless nights thinking, wow, am I doing the right thing? Because I had people saying, this sounds totally satanic. You can't do this. You know, record companies warning me that this was committing... <laughs> music suicide and you know all of this stuff and people saying if you really want your ministry to go on are you sure that this is a hill that you want to die on and I remember that night I remember many nights like that sleepless nights because I was afraid of the failure with it and obviously I, I went on but I really needed the Lord to assure me and folks I think we go through that process for that reason you know my sleepless night last night really brought some good fruit. Uh, I was able to really say, Lord, I really believe I've heard from you on this, and, and I'm ready to proceed. Uh, but I have to go through this process of realizing my own failures, realizing my own apprehensions, and realizing that I have fear as a human being about going ahead with something that might be very controversial. Well, again, it's normal. But folks, that's why we have the Lord, and that's why he sent us the Holy Spirit as our comforter, <clears throat> our guide. It's the reason that I need to continue to go to him for wisdom, and uh, that's really important. So I guess after a sleepless night, I'm glad that I have a fear of failure, because it really brings me to him once again, and I get plugged in <clears throat> Excuse me, and I make sure that this is something that he's actually asking me to do. And if it is, I may have wobbly knees, <laughs> but I proceed because I know it's it's his decision, and I know he's right there with me. And uh, so, folks, all of you, all of us, with the fear of failure, let's realize that it's probably for a good thing. It brings you to your knees. You double-check things with the Lord. You realize how he's moving and the way he's moving. And then you proceed knowing that you're connected with him. And you can move on at that point. So, those of you that are paralyzed by that fear, that's a different thing. And I want to speak to you for just a minute. Because I don't think God wants you to be paralyzed. He simply wants you to take the fear and to give it to him and begin to work through it. And I love the fact, folks, that through Christ, all things are possible. They sure have been in my life, and they're possible for you. God bless you. Have a great day.